So the first one we're going to talk about, <coughs> excuse me, is the balanced roof snow load, uh, P sub S. Um, and that is composed of a number of different factors, an exposure factor, a thermal factor, importance factor, slope factor, and, um, of course, the ground snow load. The, um, and each of these are going to be sub-steps for step number one. The first is the exposure factor. And the theory <clears throat> behind the exposure factor is the following. Wind erosion of roof snow, that is the wind blowing snow off the roof, is more likely when the wind speed is high. And you get high wind speeds where the surface roughness is low. That is, if you go from a high wind terrain to a low wind terrain, you would go from a seashore where it's very flat and there's nothing to impede the flow of the uh, wind. Uh, so, the, um, you know, uh, as in the parenthetical statement, a, a beach is a great place to fly a kite. And so the seashore is particularly windy. A little less windy would be flat, open country. Uh, and then urban and suburban with uh, man-made facilities and things like that is somewhat has higher surface roughness and hence in, uh, at, a, at the elevation of a roof, lower wind speeds. And so that's part of the theory related to where the structure is located the terrain of the um, uh, area. The other part is how the structure is situated um, within its terrain. And so the theory then is the, the wind exposure is more likely, or wind erosion, I should say, of the roof snow, more likely for a fully exposed roof, less likely for a partially exposed roof, and even less for a shelter. A sheltered, or example of a sheltered roof is something in tight among conifers or non-deciduous, that is uh, trees that keep their, their uh, um, leaves, if you will. Uh, well, trees that lose their leaves in the wintertime are um, deciduous, uh, so we're talking uh, conifers are non-deciduous trees. On the other hand, <clears throat> fully exposed means there's nothing blocking the wind approaching the roof. And uh, partially exposed is everything else. And so it's either it's sheltered, hardly any wind um, uh, hitting the roof, fully exposed, as much wind as there is hitting the roof, and then partially exposed is for some directions we get wind, for others we don't. Um, how close the trees need to be or the uh, neighboring structures um, is given by this slide right here. It's a uh, it's one of the ASCE seven. Um, it's a, actually a footnote in the table. Um, if the tree is uh, taller uh, than uh, and close enough, tall enough and close enough to the structure, it provides shelter. That is, if the uh, height difference is h sub zero in order for the the tree to be considered an obstruction it has to be less than 10 h sub zero away from the roof so um, and then ASCE <coughs> excuse me provides this table where on the the vertical we have the different terrains b C and D, seashore, uh, flat open country, suburban and urban. And then within those terrains, whether it's ex fully exposed, partially exposed, and sheltered. And so this, um, now why the numbers are uh, 0 0.9 and 0 0.8, um, we're not going to be discussing in any great detail, but the table does make some sense. Sheltered things in a kind of high friction, high ground friction environment, um, the, there, you expect more snow on the roof. Fully exposed near the seashore, you expect less snow on the roof. And so the table does, in fact, uh, make some sense. Uh, and it 
what we use to get what the exposure factor is, the effect of wind in reducing the amount of snow on the roof. 